is proper to all the primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol. Let's go ahead and draw the structure so that we can be able to tell, right? So we have prop, uh, we know we need three carbons. <laughs> and then the OH is on the second carbon since the name says propane to all. So on the second carbon, let's put an OH. And then everywhere else, we just have um, hydrogens, right? Yeah, so let's just go ahead and fold that out. And yeah, there we go. We have our structure, right? Now I want you to realize something. This carbon, the second carbon, is bonded to OH, as you can see. But then, at the same time, it's bonded to two other carbons. So that makes propane to all a secondary alcohol. So 3.1, we have secondary alcohol right so if the carbon bonded to the oh is bonded to one other carbon that makes it a primary alcohol if it is bonded to two other carbons that makes it a secondary alcohol and as you would have guessed if it's bonded to three other carbons that would make it a tertiary alcohol uh, now let's do 3.2 3.2.1 name the type of reaction represented by a so let's go ahead and look at a we have reaction a here uh, we have an alcohol and then it turns into a halo alkane right a halo alkane yeah so what is happening here uh, we know fully well that an alcohol is saturated right uh, it has only single bonds. So we're going from a saturated organic compound into another saturated organic compound, right? L or K. So that reaction there would be substitution. So we have substitution for 3.2.1. So every time when we go from a saturated organic compound to a saturated organic compound, uh, the reaction will be substitution. And then now 3.2.2. Let's go ahead and look at reaction B. So for reaction B, we're going from a halo alkene to an alkene, right? So we're going from a saturated compound um, to a unsaturated because we have a double bond on an alkene, right? So it's unsaturated. So it's unsaturated. So every time when you go from an organic compound that is saturated to an organic compound that is unsaturated, we have an elimination reaction. So 3.2.2, we have elimination. And now let's do 3.2.3. I say, now let's write down the type of reaction represented by C. So for reaction C, we're going from an alkene to an alcohol, right? So we have unsaturated, so we have an unsaturated compound, and we move into a saturated compound. And that reaction would be addition reaction. So 3.2.3, we have addition. And now let's do 3.3. 3.3 says, let's write down the structural formula of the halo alkene. So we had uh, the alcohol, right? Uh, let, let me just sketch it again real quick. So we had um, something of this manner, right? And then we had our hydrogens filling out elsewhere. And we have plus HBr, right? So what's going to happen here? The OH is going to be replaced with a BR. It's going to be substituted, right? So our product, uh, which is the structure of the halo alkane, we're going to have one, two, three, and then instead of the OH, we have the BR, right? And then elsewhere, we have hydrogens like we always do. Right, so the answer of 3.3 .3 should look like this. And then now, uh, off to 3.4. 3.4 is saying, let's use structural formula to write down a balanced equation for reaction C. So reaction C, we have the alkene turning to an alcohol, right? Yeah, we already know that uh, that is going to be a hydration reaction. So let's write down the structure of the alkene and move from there. So we have one two, three, and then hydrogens 
plus H2O, right? So an oxygen and two hydrogens. And then as a result, we're supposed to have propane two all. So the OH is gonna come here. And then everywhere else, we just have hydrogens. So this is our balanced chemical reaction in terms of structural formula, right? The double bond got broken, OH on the second carbon and hydrogen on the first. And as a result, we have in propane to all. Let's move to the next question, 3.5. 3.5 is saying reaction B takes place in the presence of a strong base. Is the base used in reaction B dilute or concentrated? So let's look at reaction B. For reaction B, we have an elimination reaction, right? Elimination reaction. For elimination reaction to take place, we need a concentrated base, right? If the base is dilute, then we get a substitution reaction.